Hello fellow drummers and other human beings, it's me Joe again and I'm back with yet another video at, and hopefully my last about the Texas Shuffle and this time we're going to look at some bass drum variations and the idea is that you go through this series of videos learn all the various bits and bobs and then kind of try and uh, mix them all up so you can play any hand pattern with any foot pattern and any snare pattern with any whatever you get the idea so you can mix it all up. In my previous videos on this subject, I mostly played four to the floor on the bass, meaning I played on one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. Ah. We're going to break that up a little bit, create a little bit more space and a different feeling from each bass drum pattern. First of all, we're going to play the bass on the one and the one and and then the three and the three and. So we're gonna go like this. One and two, three and four. 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 Two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Ah. To get the hang of that, if you've never played this before, uh, we're gonna start nice and slow. What we'll do is we'll just start with the hands without accenting the snare drum to start with. So uh, for instance, we'll just start with the uh, shuffle with both hands and we're going to go like this. One and two and three and four and one and two. Now we're going to do the bass drum pattern. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One and two and three Next, I would put the accent on the snare drum if you're feeling comfortable. It might take some time to get really relaxed with this, so don't rush this bit. Obviously, you don't want to watch me playing this for 20 minutes, but you might have to to get this feeling good. Or a few different five minute sessions, maybe more appropriately. Okay, so I'm gonna get the accent in. Three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two. Now I'm going to keep this going until that feels comfortable. One and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three. And when I've got that, I'm going to get the hi hat on the two and four. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four ah two and three and four and one three and four and one and two four and one and two and three and four and now once you're feeling comfortable and relaxed with that you can try mixing up combinations of playing the bass just on the one and then the three and the and, or just on the one and the and, and then just the three. So you could be going like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, one and the three and three and. And four, one and two and three and four, one and two and four, one and two and four, I can swap it. One and two and three and four. The one and the one and and the three. One and two and three and four. And two and three. And let's mix it up. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One and two and four. One and two, three. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One. And two and three and four. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One, three and four. One and two and three and four. Ah. There's quite a few variations of that to explore. You've got the one and the and and the three and the and. One and two, three and four. Then you've got the one, two, three and four. And you've got the one and two, three four, three different patterns. Get very comfortable with each one of those and each one might feel challenging in its own right. The next variation 
is we're going to play the bass on the one and the and of two and then on the three and the and of four like this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four ah okay um and all we need to do with that is Again, the same procedure, and I'm going over these procedures again and again, and I'm saying the same thing again and again, but I find that that's quite a, an effective way of uh, putting things across. Um, what you need to do is understand how to play it a little bit at a time. So again, we're gonna start with the hands playing the shuffle with both hands, not worrying about the snare drum accent to start with, and we're just gonna try and get used to that bass drum pattern. So go slowly, count out loud, and really focus on placing the bass drum in the right place. So we're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and four. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing that we did, which is once we get comfortable playing it like that, nice and slowly, without any accent, we're then going to start changing things so we accent the snare drum. And then finally, once I feel really comfortable with that, I'm going to add the left foot hi hat again. Okay, so here we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Here comes the accent and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And two, it's really hard <laughs> looking into the camera and playing at the same time over my left shoulder. And three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two. You get it just to roll nicely so you feel comfortable with it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And two and three and four and one and two and four. Ah, okay. Now again, sit with that. Be patient. Don't rush. Let yourself get really comfortable at each stage of that. Playing two hands without any accent on the snare. Then add your bass drum pattern. Then start accenting the snare drum. And finally, put your left foot in there. And then once that's going, keep rolling with it until it really feels settled. Then come back again tomorrow and see if you can get that going again. You might have to start the whole procedure again, even if you had a really good session with it the first time, okay? Don't worry if it takes a whole load of repetitions before this really feels good, okay? All these things take time, and they take me time anyway. Maybe, maybe it won't take you so long. Okay, now, I'm gonna do the same thing with this bass drum pattern, and I'm gonna break it up. So we can uh, play just the one, the two and, and the three without the four and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and three and four and one and two and three and four and we can reverse it so we play the four and but not the two and and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four ah so i hope that makes sense we've got again three different bass drum patterns one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two that's the first one. Then we've got one and two and three and four. No four and two and three and four and one and three and four. Then we swap it one and two and three and four and one. And highway to hell shuffled. One and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And again, 
practice, practice, till you can play each one of those three bass drum patterns. If you're inclined enough to get good at this, learn how to play those bass drum patterns with each one of the three cymbal patterns I showed you, and try and uh, learn it as well with the snare drum variations. It's all in the playlist that I'm linking to there. There, there, wherever it is. Finally, you can combine the two different groups of bass drum patterns. You've got the one and the and and the three and the and, and then you've got the one, the and of two, and the three, and the and of four. And if you mix them up, you can get patterns like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four 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 and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three four one and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one three and four never speed up it's a bad habit three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and that's that really Thank you very much for watching this. If I go on for any longer, I'm probably going to faint because I can't have the fan on and film at the same time. So uh, like, comment and subscribe, please. If you, especially the comments bit, if you have anything uh, that you'd like me to address, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, just go away and practice.